In the last video, we looked at three-digit by three-digit uh, combinations for stack multiplication, where we stack them on top of each other. Here we're going to look at a four by four example, and then we'll move on in the next video, I think, to a larger uh, example, just to kind of work through it. So let's try a four by four example. Let's try four thousand three hundred and twenty-one times one thousand three hundred and twenty-four. So we're going to multiply these two, and as we work through it, remember that we're we're breaking this apart. So now it's four thousand and and three hundred. We're looking at the digits in terms of their place value and twenty and one. And here we're looking at one thousand and three hundred and twenty and four. And we're looking at all the combinations of these. So when we multiply four. We multiply all these numbers up here, 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we're going to take 20 and multiply that by 1 and 20 and 300 and 4,000. And then we're going to keep going, taking 300, multiplying that by 1 and 20 and 300 and 4,000. And then last, we're going to look at 1,000, multiplying that, that by 1 and 20 and 300 and 4,000. So really, that's 16 combinations. And then we're going to add all them up to find our final answer. Now, as I work through this, uh, I might mention a couple of times what's really happening in the background. But really, we break these up so we can look at this number 4,321 as just a combination of the digit 4 and 3 and 2 and 1. And 1,324 as a combination of 1 and 3 and 2 and 4. So, so really, we only have to think about the times tables uh, up to 4. And that's it. And you'll see what I mean as I work through this. Now 4, we're starting here, times 1 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. Now yeah, that was 4 times 20, but by putting the 8 here, we automatically make it 80. And now 4 times 3 is 12, but really that's 1,200. So put the 12, 2 here, and the 1 in the next place value. So I only have to think of it as 4 times 3 is 12. And now 4 times 4 is 16 plus 1 is 17. And yeah, that was really 17,000. But we're just keeping track of it by looking at individual digits. We cross this out, and we move on. Now we try the 2. 2 times 1 is 2. But this is where we have to be very careful. That's really 20 times 1. And 20 times 1, of course, is 20. Notice it has a 0 after it. So we shouldn't just put a 2 right here. In fact, we'll put a 0 here to start. Whenever you move up one digit, Right, you'll come to the next line that you're adding. So start with a zero for the second digit, and then the one after that will have two zeros and so forth. And this just keeps our place value intact. So two times one is two, two times four is four, and that was twenty times twenty or four hundred. Two times three is six, that was twenty times three hundred, six thousand. But just by putting a six here, we get that. And then twenty times four thousand. Right? Or 2 times 4 is 8, gives us 80,000. And now we keep going. Now we have a 3, which is really 300. So 3 times 1 really represents this, 300 times 1, which is 300. So we put a 3 here in the hundreds place. But we're starting with a third digit, so we know our first result has to go in the third place. Put two zeros behind it as a placeholder. And now we multiply out. 3 times 1 is 3. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 times 4 is 12. So put a 2 here and a 1 there, and that's our 12. And I'm running out of room, so I'm going to shift over, because it's really important, again, when you're doing this, to keep your place value lined up. I'll put a little line here so we don't forget. Right, this is just a representation of what's happening. And now what do we have? Well, now we have 1,000 times 1. And what is 1,000 times 1? Well, it's just itself 1,000. So really, the 1 has to go here with three zeros behind it. So again, if I'm starting with my fourth digit, I know the first product combination has to be at least in the fourth place. 1, 2, 3, 4. So there should be three zeros before it. So before I even start with my fourth digit, I might want to put these three zeros in. So now I multiply. 1 times 1 is 1. 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, and 1 times 4 is 4. 
And now all this, we combine it. So 4 plus 3 zeros is 4. 8 and 2 is 10, we carry. 2 and 4 is 6, plus 3, plus 3 is 9, plus 1 is 10, we carry. 7 plus 1 is 8, plus 6 is, is what? Well, 8 plus 6 is 14, plus 6 is 20, plus 1, 21. 1 here, 2 there. 8 and 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12, plus 9, 21, plus 2, 23. 2 goes here. We just keep carrying it up. 3 and 2 is 5, plus 2 is 7. 4 and 1 is 5. And there's our answer, which is what? 5,731,004. So I, assuming that I added right, which I, I, I believe I did, I was getting a little distracted over here. Let's just check it again. Six and six, well, six and one are down here is seven, plus seven up here is 14. 15 and six, 21, so one and two. Eight and two is 10, plus nine and one, another 10, 22. Oh, I made a mistake. Look at that, so uh, let's try again. So nine and one is 10. Eight and two is 10 plus another 2 is 22. How do I get 23? Oh, start over. Check it. 4, 10, 1, 6, 7, 10, right? 8, 14, 21. This should be a 2 up here. Yeah. 8 and 2 is 10, 11, 22. Ah, mistake. Always double check. 2 goes there, 2 goes here. 5 and 7, 4 and 1 is 5. There's my answer, 5,721,004. And I really got messed up in this column. Again, it was 8 plus 1 plus 2 is 11, plus 9, I think I said 12 there. That's my mistake. 8 and 1 is 9, plus 2 is 11, plus 9 is 20, plus 2 is 22. So I'm going to put a 2 here and a 2 there, and we're done. All right, hope that helped.